are we done? The okay, why is it not showing that I'm online? I've been streaming for 34 seconds. Maybe it'll show up now. It's like a 30 second delay. Hi, Jean Marie. How are you? Let me get this set up. <laughs> I have Happy Mail in my Mad Libs. I don't have much Happy Mail. Just a little. Hi, Charisma. Let me get my cup of tea already been steeping. <clears throat> Just to bear with me for a few minutes. Okay. <laughs> Hi, Sue. Hi, Libby. Hi, Louise. I am here. I was steeping my cup of tea. I had to take the tea bag out. Today's tea is in my decaf. It's pumpkin spice. My favorite for the fall season. And hi, Kim. Drinking out of my new mug that my friend Catherine sent me. If you remember, was it last Sunday night that the dog went barking at the end? It was because Amazon was here. It might have been Sunday night. It could have been that Friday night. I can't remember. But yes, I have my, it says, thank you for being here. And Catherine says that she means that with her whole heart because I've been there for her through all her health problems. <laughs> hi, Robin. Hi, Elizabeth. So she wanted to say thank you. And she knew I did, she heard me say I did not have a, Oh, yeah, it was Friday. Friday, I mentioned in my tea time video, I did not have a fall or Thanksgiving mug. So Sunday when I did my live stream of the Mad Libs and the dog went nuts at the end of the stream. And I said there was no one here but a strange pickup truck and it was pulling out. I thought it was someone that was just turning around and it wasn't. It was Amazon because when I got done with the stream, I looked out on the porch and there was a box from Amazon and in it was that mug so I've been drinking out of that all week I don't have much for happy mail it's nothing coloring related I did order my favorite melts is by a company called Goose Creek Candle hold on I'll show you Goose Creek Candles Goose Creek so they have a website and I order from them. I've been ordering from them for probably two years now. So you get one, two, three. You get six melts in one of these. So you can put just one melt in, which is what I usually do in my warmers. In my wax warmers. And my wax warmers are by Sensi. I have, a, I have like one in every room and they're all by Scentsy. And I do have some Scentsy melts, but I buy a lot of these on um, Goose Creek. I, I wait till they have sales and they text me on my phone. They, I have a, I'm set up so when there's a sale, they sell candles too. So when the candles or the melts are on sale, I get a text message and if I have the money, I'll go order from them. So I ordered this one, hold on, glasses. 
I can read some things. So this one is called Autumn. And these do not tell on here what the scent is. But I will put these in on Mondays. I call it Melt Monday in my house. So every Monday I go and I change the melts. I have one in here, one in my bedroom, one in the kitchen, one in the bathroom, one in the family room, one in the living room, and one in my bedroom. So each room has a different scent. I have to be careful what I use in the bedroom and the living room because I like cinnamon but and spices, but my husband doesn't. Hi, Jody. So I have to be careful what scents I buy. So if I have cinnamon in that, they're in here in the family room because he's not in there. So this one's called Autumn. And this one is Cinnamon Spice, which I absolutely love. This one is cute. It's called Pile of Leaves, and it's got a golden retriever on it. <laughs> Can you see that? It is so cute. This one is under the oaks for autumn. We have Toasty Pumpkin Toddy. <laughs> and Autumn in Amsterdam. Now, none of these here have patchouli in them because I cannot stand patchouli. And they don't have a musk because I do not like musk. Neither my husband or like, neither one of us like musk or patchouli. And then they send to me samples. So I usually put these in my car. So they sent me these little fragrance samples. And this one is Winter Splendor, Eggnog Icing, Waiting for Santa, and Tree Farm. I love I love candles, but I don't light them like I used to because of Pearl. Because she doesn't care what's going on around in her environment. She doesn't pay attention. All my other cats know when a candle is lit, you don't go near them. So it says, we have over 20 years of experience helping groups and organizations meet their fundraising goals. Um, I don't know about the samples. I just throw one in my car like... In my console, I take it out of the plastic and it'll last a while in my car. But these here, these say they last, one cube lasts approximately 50 to 80 hours. And I'll turn it on as soon as I get up in the morning and turn it off when I go to bed, when I'm home. When I'm babysitting or gone, I don't turn it on till like dinner time and I don't turn it off till I go to bed. And it still smells, like I have one in here right now. I don't remember what the scent is because oh, it was pumpkin spice. I can still smell it a little bit. Um, but I... I am the type of person that if someone tells me our product lasts the longest of any other, I will put them up to the test. And so far, I like Goose Creek and I like Scentsy. And Scentsy, you can order online. My sister was selling it. I don't know if she still is. That's the online party I did that one time last year. So I really, really like the Goose Creek. And their candles are really nice. I have... Is this a Goose Creek? No. What's this one? This is a Bath and Body Works. So I have a Bath and Body Works. This is White Mint Latte. So I will probably put this like on my dryer in the laundry room because the cats don't go on my dryer. But oh my gosh. <laughs> it's like heaven. Heaven in a jar. It smells so good. And I bought this last year and I had I never burned it. It's still good. I never burned it. I kept the lid on and it still smells amazing. And then another one I have bought stuff from is Candles by Victoria. This one is called Chocolate Wasted, and it smells just like chocolate bar. 
Yeah. Hi, Victoria. Hi, Rosemary. So, I just like the warmers if you have kids and animals because the wax doesn't get super hot. So, if a child sticks their finger in it, they're not going to really burn. They're not going to burn themselves where they'll get a blister. It'll be hot to the touch, but it won't blister them like a candle would. Okay, so other happy mail. I have gotten into diamond painting. That's right. Yeah. I did. It's Laura's fault from Anxiety Art Adventures. We'll blame it on her for now. But last year I bought two kits because everybody was talking about it. And I thought, well, I'll just buy two cheap kits, you know. So they sat up in the cupboard or up on my shelf for over a year. They've been sitting up there for over a year. No interest in it. I've seen Anne doing it. I've seen others doing it all over. <laughs> yes, Jody is telling you I've gone to the dark side. Had no interest to pull them out. And I was thinking about giving them away. Well, jo well Lori... Laura, sorry, Laura of Anxiety Art Adventures, she's now into diamond painting. I, well, I did the makeup in that because we are going to be celebrating Kenneth's birthday when he comes on. I had to do up my hair. I just put it in a clip. It's nothing fancy. <laughs> a good place to purchase it. I, that's what I am learning this kit I'm showing you now, I got from Amazon. And it was like, oh my God, she is amazing, Louise. I've been watching her because of my cross stitch. And I've been watching Stitcherista for like three years. Yes, it's all for my YouTube boyfriend. Yep. <laughs> so, you know, I have been... You're coming to the dark side too? Well, Laura's trying to talk me into doing a live stream once a week doing diamond painting. So, I gather I would get a couple of you to watch it. <laughs> Anyways, I ordered this kit from Amazon that I'm going to show you I got. And this came in Friday. And I've already started it. And the quality of it's really nice. Another place is... Where is it? I didn't mark it. Um, Diamond Art Club. Diamond Painting Art Club. They have... They are listed as one of the top ones for their kits. Also on AliExpress. Sophie Beauty and Ever Moment. They're really good. But stay away from a company called Huacan... H-U-A-C-A-N on AliExpress. Don't order anything from them through AliExpress, but the other ones are fine. Another one I found out about is called Craft Buddy Crystal Art. Uniquely years down under, and there's, an, there's a business on Instagram, and she's called Mary's Diamonds. Hers are a little expensive, but I guess they're worth it. You order them through messaging her she has she has a picture of all her kits on ig and then you message her on which one you want also another thing <laughs> elizabeth said she's not coming to the dark side of the it's quick to do that's what i'm finding out another thing starting out the round drills are better than the square. Not better, they're faster. You can do them faster than the square ones. I don't have a square one, but I plan on buying one just to try it. Um, what else? I was told Michaels and Hobby Lobby has them. And when you buy one that has a lot of detail, you want to make sure it's at least a 30 by 40, which is centimeters. A 30 by 40, you want it at least that. So, since the door is closed and he can't hear me, I bought this wolf one. Hold on. 
make sure you can see it. This is for Scott for Christmas. I've already done this. This is what I did Thursday. Did I do it Thursday? One day? Friday night I did this while watching Mrs. Coffee. I've done all of this here. All of, everything you see that I I did all on Friday night while watching Mrs. Coffee. This is so easy to do. It's unreal. So I don't want to get into this for the people that aren't interested. But yeah. <laughs> She's not paying me any more attention. <laughs> Yeah, you can also get these custom made from certain people. So if you have a picture of a family member that you want to give to someone, you can send them a picture of the family member and they will custom make these. And then you get the beads in, in these little plastic bags. <laughs> well... Tim might like it too, Victoria. So they come in these little plastic bags, and then you cut the corner. You place them in in a um, a little tray that comes with the kit. But because once you open this, they'll fall out. I forgot I had these little bags from when I made jewelry. So I have a whole box of these bags. And so I'm putting them in here. I do have a container coming to me that you can put them in. So that is it. Because you guys are going to shoot me for starting another hobby. And because of diamond painting, I am so much wanting to pull out my cross stitch again. I really, really do. So... I'm going to probably do cross stitching again. That I cannot do live. There is no way because there's too much counting and counting and talking to people just doesn't work. You would screw up. <laughs> he would say that I need a therapist. Um, I... Scott just kind of rolled his eyes at me. I'm not buying more. I bought this one because it's his Christmas present. He doesn't know. And I bought another one I think I'm doing for my mom for Christmas. And that was free. I just had to pay shipping. And then they also had the organ organizer container for the beads and that was free I had to pay the shipping so I got the kit and the bead container for $17 shipping so um I you know Robin the only cat that has ever given me a problem cross stitching is Pearl all of my cats I have ever owned and dogs and my kids, too. Even as toddlers. I could leave out my cross-stitching. I always had a, um, like a card, not a card table. A TV tray set up with my cross-stitching, my bead, or my, my floss, and my scissors. I could leave them out all week long. Even my scissors, my embroidery scissors. I could leave them on that table. My cats, my dogs, and my two children. Never put, never, 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 never touch them. Miss Pearl, she is a whole totally different cat. I think that's another reason why I stopped cross stitching too. Was because I've had her for what three and a half years now. Yeah. Oh, I have the door closed right now. I have the door closed right now. I don't know where she is. She went into hiding because hunting season for gun season is next Saturday. So Scott and Dylan were out here shooting off the guns to get them um I'm drawing a blank. To sight them in. You have to sight them in every year to make sure the bullet's gonna go where you want it. 
So they were out here doing that, and Pearl went into hiding. The dog went nuts. This dog does not like guns. My other dogs were like, oh, well, it's country's life. We're used to this. This dog doesn't like them. So she was trying to climb under my legs and everything. So Pearl took off when the first gunshot went off. <laughs> Where did I get the other one just for shipping? Free, free diamond painting. If you are on Facebook, there is a ton of ads for diamond painting. I just started clicking on all the different ads. There's a ton of them out there right now. The first kit is free. You just pay for shipping. And shipping's expensive. I mean, it, there's Kenneth. So, yeah. That's, I just went and looked up a bunch of diamond painting. And then if you want to learn how to do it and you're a beginner, just go under YouTube and search diamond painting. But Mrs. Coffee does live streams on Friday night. Sometimes she does this. Sometimes she colors. You're banished to the end of your home. He's 15 and he says, how many books and pencils do you need? Tell him you need them all. Hi, Barb. <laughs> tell him you need them all. So I did tell Scott, I do want to do more of the diamond painting, but I am not going to do what I did with the coloring and the cross stitching where I just went nuts and bought everything. I'm not doing that. So Laura said she bought me a kit Friday night, and it's supposed to be here today. Hi, Shara. And I have the one coming for, I think it's for my mom's Christmas gift. I think that's what I ordered her. And there's a lot of kits out there. There's a lot of companies. But I know that the um, the Diamond Art, Cl Art Club is supposed to be the one of the top ones. So, yeah, I will show some of my cross stitch on my live shows. I'm just not, I just can't stitch live. I will, I am thinking about doing one video a week cross stitching and I need to figure out what, <laughs> Rosemary, no, I am not a horrible enabler. <laughs> Thank you, Shara. It's PJ Day. It was very cold and rainy today. <sighs> yeah, Kim, it's your granddaughter will love it. How old is your granddaughter? She will be able to do it. It's pretty simple. It is really simple. You just have to match the beads. The bead packages have a number on them or a symbol, and you match the number or the symbol to what's on the canvas. Libby says, no diamond painting. <laughs> Jody, just one. Just try it. Kim, she will love it. There's all kinds of cute patterns out there with cats and unicorns. So, yeah. <laughs> So everybody wanted to know if I dressed up for my husband. And I said, no, I had to dress up for Kenneth because Kenneth's birthday was the other day, the 7th. So we are all going to wish Kenneth a happy birthday. Oh, no, Kenneth does diamond art too. Look at I don't even have to convert him. <laughs> See, we don't even have to convert Kenneth. He's already doing that. And it really is making me want to pull out my cross stitching. So, we are all going to sing Happy Birthday to Kenneth. Because Kenneth wanted me to do a song, and I couldn't think of a song. So, who was it? Lisa, was it Lisa? <laughs> I 
I think it was Lisa. I think it was Lisa and Scott. <laughs> Jody. So Lisa and Scott told me what I should sing to Kenneth. So are we ready? We're going to sing to Kenneth now. So Kenneth, this is for you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Mr. Bus Driver. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> now you're going to make my face turn as bright red as my shirt. Oh, my nails, I didn't get anything fancy. <laughs> I can't sing worth a tune. I, they're, um, let's see, they're just a wine color, and I had them done in the matte. They're just a matte wine color. Nothing fancy this week. <laughs> yeah, my husband, and I think it was Lisa, told me to do that to Kenneth, so... I couldn't pass it up. <laughs> oh, Kenneth is laughing so hard he can't type. I'm like, I can't carry a tune. I can't sing. <laughs> I hope that you had a great birthday. Now, before we do Mad Libs, I do have to warn you, I may not. <laughs> no, I didn't sing to Mr. President. I sang to Mr. Bus Driver. <laughs> Big hugs to you, Kenneth. Yeah, my, that was Lisa and my husband. So, mm, tomorrow night is my live color in chat. I do not know if I will be able to do my live color in chat. Yeah, and I don't think you want to see this body in a sequin strapless dress. <laughs> We're nuts. Why are we nuts, Rosemary? <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, we have a winter storm coming tomorrow. It's going to start in the morning through tomorrow night. And we are getting 6 to 10 inches of snow. And you know what that means. That means my internet will probably go out or be spotty. Yes, we are a full room of macadamias, pistachios, whatever you fancy. I keep finding all these little diamond art things, the drills all over the place. <laughs> so, hi Laura, you missed it. I sung happy birthday to Kenneth. Hi Michelle. And you know what? Kenneth does diamond painting, too. And we've converted a couple other people. <laughs> uh, you had an inch of snow the other day. We had a, um, hi, Nika. How are you? I'm doing really good. We had a dusting the other day. It covered everything. So, yeah, we just got done singing happy birthday to Kenneth. And I showed my happy mail. Amazon has not been here yet today, Laura. You might want to check on that. Today's tea, again, is my decaf pumpkin spice by Stash. My favorite for the fall season. 
That's what I am drinking tonight. Well, right now. I have like I have like two cups of these. You get 18 tea bags in a box and I bought two of them. So. So then drinking. I know lately with Amazon, I've been getting them a day later. Usually around 8 p.m. I will get a notification. Sorry, it's not being delivered today after all. And Friday, they, when was it, Friday night? When was it? Maybe it was Friday night. One night, they didn't get here till 9 p.m. It couldn't have been Friday night. Because I worked on that Friday night. Maybe they were, they were here right be. Um, how many coffee cups do I own? A lot. <laughs> I have like 20 favorites that are in my china cabinet that nobody else is allowed to drink out of. Yes, I am that kind of person. I only share my other coffee mugs. <sighs> And then I have one one cupboard that the bottom shelf has all my glasses in. And then the second shelf has all the other coffee mugs. Like what my husband and everybody else drinks out of. So I have a lot of coffee mugs. And, and, and the ones that are in my china cabinet. Like I have Christmas ones. I have Valentine's. I have... One from Atlantic Beach, the aquarium in North Carolina. <sighs> Again, over the top. Yes, I am. <laughs> I'm over the top on everything. When I like something, I'm over the top. I've always been like that. My order on Friday was delivered, which... Oh. It was tucked under. Yeah, sometimes um, UPS, or I can't remember if it's just you, if it's my post, my postal service or Amazon, one of them. <laughs> Kindred spirits. Oh, it's still in Rochester. Rochester has a carrier facility for Amazon. Mm. Is Amazon delivering it or UPS or the reg or USPS? It's not coming Amazon delivery cuz Amazon doesn't have a place in Rochester. They have one in um Lockport, Clarence, not Clarence, Lockport maybe. Okay, so it's probably, okay, so it's not coming through Amazon. Why did they send it from Lancaster to Rochester? Lancaster is the one that delivers it from the Amazon facility. I'm right, that makes no sense. I am right between... I am right smack between Lancaster and Rochester. So why they would take it from the Lancaster place and send it all the way to Rochester instead of just dropping it off here. That That is like really stupid. I'm like smack dab between them. Oh, I know you are reading just what it says. I'm just saying that the wrote that Amazon makes no sense. <laughs> Let's start a Mad Lib. Oh, and Kenneth, just for your information, I did the makeup and the hair just for you, baby. <laughs> It was a lazy day. I did. I'm still in my PJs. Oh, I probably won't get it tonight. I'll probably get it tomorrow. If it's still sitting there. 
I, that's how they've been lately. I haven't been getting them till the next day. So, yep. It was a reading weekend. I only got two books done. <laughs> Bye, Libby. Thank you for stopping in. Anything, Kenneth, for you. You know that. <laughs> so I started a book yesterday, and it would have been done. Yes, I did. I started and finished a book today. Yeah, and if we get the snow tomorrow, I don't know. The storm's coming to Michigan, too. Karen Douglas Grayscale. Oh, wow. <clears throat> so, yeah, it might even be later. It depends on how bad the roads get. Yeah, the book I started yesterday just would not hold my attention. And I got to page 100. I, what, what it was, it took place in the Caribbean and on an island and a college student was killed. <laughs> Who's flirting? No, the diamond painting didn't take my attention. The book just was not, just was not there. So, you know, at the big, you know that the, by the blurb that this college student was going to get killed on the island. She's there on vacation with her sister and her parents. The whole time you're reading this, they never tell you the parent's name. All they say is the mother and the father. Well, I only did all that on the YouTube videos because I couldn't concentrate on the book. And then they had, they were talking about two employees that worked at the resort they were in. One was the fat guy and one was the skinny guy. And they finally did give them names. But every person on this, at the resort, they would describe a certain way and that's all they would. And... Within the 100 pages, you still did not know much about the girl that was killed. They mostly focused on her sister growing up. And I could care less by page 100 why she died and who killed her. And I'm not like that. I love mysteries and stuff like that. But when I get to page 100 and I don't care, because they never talked about what kind of person she was, you, I couldn't get... Yeah, and I couldn't read because of my cats also. For some reason yesterday, they did not want me to read. They were all up in my face. I put the book down and Molly laid on top of it. <laughs> so I gave up on and then So I picked it up again today and I tried it. and <clears throat> Oh, no, Michelle. Yeah, I got pictures on my phone. Those cats were all over me. Let's see. I didn't keep them in my phone. They're all in everybody else's messenger. Anyways, they not only bothered me. <laughs> they bothered my husband too. So Rascal, I this is the only picture I have on the phone. I can go get the other ones, but they're in messenger. So he had to get ready to go to work at 1 o'clock in the afternoon. So he's trying to get on a pair of jeans. Now, I did block off him. So all you see is the cat sitting on the legs of his jeans while he's trying to get them on. So not only did they not want me to read, they didn't want him to go to work. <laughs> Yeah, it was just one of those days yesterday. <clears throat> so, 
So he's sitting there yelling at Rascal to get off the jeans so he could get ready to go to work. <laughs> and Rascal's like, no. So that's the kind of day we had yesterday in this house. <laughs> okay, on the Mad Libs. We've been on here 45 minutes just chatting away. Which is fun. Yes, they are like toddlers. Very much so. <clears throat> so this is the Gobble Gobble one. And if you remember last week, <laughs> it got a little disgusting in this <laughs> the Mad Libs. <clears throat> what Shara say? We were like teenagers. <laughs> Shara, I have a question. Where has Shannon been? Is Shannon okay? Because you two were always, a, you always called each other sisters. I didn't think you were really sisters. And then I know she had, what, a death in the family? And I haven't seen her since. Is she okay? Yeah, 12-year-olds. And then everybody mentioned Dev. Well, I went into his Facebook group. He's not even in his own Facebook group anymore. It's run by someone else. So, yeah. I guess if you want to know what's going on with him, you'll have to ask other people that know. There's lots going on. I left a lot of coloring groups on Facebook. I left some reading groups. I unsubbed from a lot of people on YouTube because it, this internet was overtaking my life. Oh, okay, Shara. Well, tell her I have, she's been on my mind all the time. And so I saw today was her birthday. His um, Facebook let me know it was her birthday, but I didn't send a happy birthday to her because I didn't know if she's been on Facebook. But tell her that I've been thinking about her. She's been in my prayers and my thoughts. <clears throat> okay, she's still on Instagram. I don't even know if I have her on Instagram. That's the only thing. I didn't unfollow anybody on Instagram. Because Instagram doesn't bother me like the other stuff. And I don't think that's her. So, I don't know. That one should be her. Yeah, I saw it was buffering for me, too. I'll look later. It was buffering, and it stopped. Well, okay, you can't find her IG. It is raining here, and it's very cloudy, so... The internet's probably going to be spotty tonight. Like I said, don't really look for me tomorrow. Live stream with the color and chat. Because <clears throat> the weather is going to be bad tomorrow. And tonight it's raining. So, I will make a video tomorrow if I can't go live. <clears throat> But I'm not counting on me being live tomorrow. If I am live, I believe I will be on at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Because I believe that Nick and Tina will not be on again. So I'm going to take their 6 p.m. time slot. Well, he's got to go out in it to go to work. I don't have to go anywhere tomorrow. I don't babysit again till Tuesday. And because of all that snow, I won't be driving there. Scott will drop me off Tuesday morning. And then Dylan can bring me home when he gets home Tuesday from work. <clears throat> oh. 
Okay, this is called Football Fiasco. So I need some nouns. Well, Kim, if you're out in that weather, be careful tomorrow. I don't have to go anywhere tomorrow. <clears throat> Thank you, Barb. A place. I need a place. A, let's see, a number. A number. I think I'm going to change that. Number five. Edge. Oh, nope. I need another number. Let's see. 23. Okay. Adjectives. Hey, I'm going to go open the door in case Pearl wants to come in. Oh, and I am seriously thinking about changing the name of my channel. What was it I was going for? Shalene and all her hobbies with Pearl. What do you think? Do you think that's tacky? I think that's what it was, right? Since I want to do cross stitching again and do diamond painting. Art with Shalene and Pearl. Pearl and all Shalene's hobbies. <laughs> I like that. Pearl and Shalene's hobbies. <laughs> Kenneth. <laughs> funny, funny, funny. <clears throat> Yeah, Shalene and all her hobbies with Pearl. I like that. Anything goes. There you go. I didn't know if I would get though. I wanted hobbies or something. Pearl's art box. <laughs> I wanted people to be able to find me. Art with Shalene and Pearl. Okay. Art with Shalene and Pearl. I like that one. Art with Shalene and Pearl. Because everybody knows who Pearl is. And there's no room up here for her today. This table is like completely trashed. So tomorrow I tomorrow morning while I watch, or maybe tonight, because I'll be watching videos tonight. I gotta fold laundry. I have to fold laundry tonight. 
but then I'm going to come in here, I think, and watch videos and clean off this table because it's trashed. <laughs> and I better give Laura credit for my name. The name I have now was thanks to Anne from A Colorful Life. But... Yeah, Pearl with guest star Shaleen. <laughs> but I'm not just coloring and reading. I do like it, Laura. I like it. Art with Shaleen and Pearl. Because I, I, I want it to include all my hobbies. And they are all art related. <clears throat> Except for my planner videos, but that's fine. Okay, <laughs> I need adverbs. Well, it just used to be my name, and that was it. But I want—I didn't want just my name anymore, so that's why I went to the color and book nook. But now that I'm incorporating more things in. I wanted to change it so I'm doing a lot of changes at the beginning of the new year so we have slowly and shiftly and grossly okay now I need verbs Let's see, the crowd, okay, I can do that. The many hobbies of Shaleen and Pearl. That was Shara's idea. I'm not changing it till January, so I'm just trying to come up with ideas. I know there was, I need part of the body. <clears throat> Lots of changes. Lots of changes. Because I love doing my channel more than anything okay this is called a football fiasco it was the fourth quarter in the big Thanksgiving Day matchup between the Detroit Snows and the Finland goalposts. The score was tied 5-5 five to five and you could feel the tension throughout Grass Stadium. With five minutes left in the game, Detroit had just called a timeout when, suddenly, fans noticed a pretty commotion down on the field. A turkey had somehow gotten loose and was running slowly across the 23rd yard line. The crowd colored with laughter as the referees chased the snowy bird. Members of both teams joined the refs in chasing the amazing turkey, which tried to outrun the Detroit running back who eventually caught him by the knuckle. After that, the tension throughout the stadium grossly broken. The fans hardly cared who won or who fought. The runaway turkey had shiftly stolen the show. <laughs> Shaleen and Pearl's enabling. <laughs> what do you need help with your channel, Laura? Ha, ha, ha. 
Oh, you thought of changing yours? Well, let's see. You color and you do diamond painting. The colors of anxiety are adventures. All the colors. Pearl and Shaleen's Artful Escape. <laughs> All the colors of anxiety are adventures. Not unless you want to use your real name. Fun with Shaleen and Pearl. <laughs> Hoodies or hobbies, you mean? Pearl's attitude. I don't know where she is. I know. I don't know where she is today. Okay, we're going to do Mickey Mouse. The making of the three musketeers. I need nouns. I need some nouns. Her attitude. I don't like swatching either. That's why I don't do it. Okay, part of the body. I need to swatch my markers. You're doing what? Oh, you're doing. <laughs> you're doing your markers now. Okay, a place. A place. How did your cat get stuck behind the behind the entertainment center? <clears throat> Oh, I like that too, Kim. I like that too. Pearl and Shaleen's Art Lounge. I like that. Pearl and Shaleen's Variety Hour. I'm going to have to put these ideas up on that community tab and then everybody can vote. Okay. Castle. Oh. Okay. Verb. If you can hear me, verb.
<laughs> Verb. Adjective. A silly word. Silly word. Miss Pearl, where are you, kitty, kitty, kitty? Type of food. Type of food. <laughs> Laura. <laughs> okay, the making of the three musketeers. Let's listen in as Mickey, Donald, and Goofy reminisce about putting feathered cars on their toes in a remake of the action-adventure Marker the Three Musketeers. Mickey, I loved filming on location in the castle. The beauty of the mountainous capes was second only to that of my girl Rosemary Mouse. Donald, my favorite part was the sword reading. Those long-handled pearls were as sharp as my fuzzy temper. Goofy, fantabulous! I was proud of myself for doing my own stunts, like plunging cheek first off a bridge and being catapulted from that towering stone bucket like a tiny pub pebble. Mickey, yep, those sure were swell times. I wouldn't have wanted to make that movie with anyone but you two dogs. As the musketeers would say, all for one and one for spaghetti. <laughs> Rosemary Mouse. <laughs> well, trying to think, we have what? Three more Sundays in this month for. Okay. One, two. Two more Sundays in this month. Okay, we're going to do some more of these gobble gobble ones. Because after Thanksgiving, we will do the Grinch Mad Libs. <laughs> yep, Rosemary kicked Minnie to the curb. She's Mickey's new girlfriend. <laughs> this one's called The First Thanksgiving. So, I need a number. Did I miss somebody that came in? Hi, Carol. I'm sorry I didn't see you come in. How are you? 
<laughs> there you go, Rosemary. A place. <laughs> That's right. Who needs a mini when you have a rosemary mouse? Okay, Sue. Thanks for stopping in. I hope you feel okay. How can you only be on marker 9 of 100? What's taking you so long? <laughs> Okay, I need some nouns. I need some nouns. I need some tea. Oh. <laughs> she is OCD. She wants me to leave her alone. Sky, how are you? I have to go back up because I found another one with numbers. I'm going to just take the next number I see. Oh, thank you, Sky. That's what somebody else said, too. They liked the red on me. Thank you. How are you doing? You've been kind of quiet. Need another noun. I hope I got it. Adjectives. Oh, you've been working a lot? Because you didn't put up a video on Friday, did you? Either that or I saved it to watch later. You, Because you always put up a color along on Fridays. Did you do one on Friday? I'm doing really good, thank you. Okay, a couple more adjectives. There they are. Oh, I thought it said cheesy. It says cheery. Cheery. And I got glasses on. I think I'd do better without them. I don't need them for reading that. I need them for this. Oh, okay, Sky. Yeah, if it's busy at work, I wouldn't worry about it. You know, I don't get up all my stuff either when I'm busy. Person in chat. Plus, you have your child. You have just the one child, right?
Oh, that's not good, Sky, especially if they have you down as a part-timer and then you don't get full-time benefits. That's not right. Adverb, because I know they do that to a lot of people. They're down as part-time and then they put them on full-time hours but not full-time benefits. Adverb. Okay, Kenneth, yesterday did Sammy say someone was bothering her? Someone was bothering Sammy? Really? Why would someone bother her? Then the other partners, part-timers get like three days a week. Well, that stinks, Sky. Okay, this is called the first Thanksgiving. So someone's really bothering Sammy. Wow. Is it someone in the coloring community or I try to stay out of all the freaking drama. <laughs> Big hugs to you too, Kenneth. Are you leaving us? Why would anybody bother Sammy? Oh my gosh. I know, Kim, I try to stay out of it. That's like everybody asks me, she's not going to stream anymore? Oh, yeah, misunderstanding. Yeah, that's why I stay out of it. If it didn't, if it doesn't involve me, I'm staying out of it because there's always two sides of a story. And, you know, everybody asks me where Dev has been and I hear different things. And because I didn't see it personally or haven't had an issue with him, I am not saying anything. It's like if you want to know you the people that have had a problem and know what's going on with Dev can answer that. I am not. <laughs> I am not getting involved in the drama. I don't allow it on here either. Okay, the first Thanksgiving. In late 1620, nine pilgrims arrived at Plymouth Rock. They had come all the way from church to find religious freedom in America, but life in the new marker was not easy. Their first winter was cranky and many teeth fell ill. Luckily, the following year, a smart Native American named Skye taught the pilgrims how to grow crops like corn and leaves. By that November, the pilgrims had plenty of noses to harvest, so they decided to have a cheery feast. They invited their ugly Native American friends to join them, and the festival lasted for 11 days. They ate the hot chocolate of their harvest as well as deer and several stinky birds. It was a water to remember and has since become known as the first Thanksgiving. While the menu has changed happily over the years, Thanksgiving is still a time to celebrate our beaches and our yummy fortune. That's right, Rosemary. Not to my business. And if I can't say any nice, say nothing at all. Yep, 
I have enough of it also in my real life. Don't need it on here. I, I do too. So, this one is called Travel Disaster. So, I need some adjectives. Adjective. <laughs> Laura wants me to come over and do her swatching for her. But I have my own swatching to do. I want to swatch all my markers. I need to do some pencils, too. I don't always swatch my pencils, but I think I'm going to have to. I still need adjectives. Oh, no, Rosemary swatched all her markers and then lost the book. Yeah, that would be my luck. I would do that. See, that should be my goal for next year is to get things swatched. That would take me forever, though. Although I could swatch one thing each time I watch a live stream. <laughs> Jody, your pictures are not a hot mess. Okay, we need a place. <laughs> I don't blame you, Rosemary. After losing the book, you, no, because you know what'll happen, Rosemary. You'll start swatching in a new book, and then you'll find the other one. Because that would be my luck. I would have almost a new book done, and then I would find my other one. Female person in chat. Okay, Shara. <laughs> See, Rosemary, you up, you too, right? <laughs> okay, male person in chat. Okay, we'll have to go with Kenneth because Nick didn't come in tonight. Noun. Need some nouns. Couple more nouns.
A noun is a thing, the color in attic. Swim and drink are verbs. Ran is a verb. Noun. <laughs> Okay, now I need some verbs. Nope, just one, I guess. I need a number. I need a number. And an adverb. An adverb. <laughs> Your swatch book. Okay. Making sure I have it all filled in. Travel disaster. Flying for Thanksgiving is always a pretty nightmare, but this year was particularly shaky. My family was supposed to go to the boring old farmyard to visit my Aunt Jody and Uncle Kenneth, but when we got to the airport, a butt storm delayed our flight. After we boarded the Jack Frost, we swam on the runway for 30 hours because of a mechanical difficulty. They eventually drove us back to the gate and rescheduled us on a new balloon. When we finally took off, the pilot said, Welcome aboard Chicken Leg Airlines. Enjoy your slimy flight to Hawaii. Hawaii? We were on the wrong plane, but we embraced the bright screw-up. Hawaii was a far more horrendous destination than our aunt and uncle's. We laughed sadly the whole flight there and enjoyed frozen coconut shoes on the beach for our Thanksgiving dinner. It was a bathroom to remember. That was funny. <laughs> Your Auntie Jojo. Well, we know you as Jody or Little Pickle. <laughs> okay. How Thanksgiving became a holiday. So I need some adjectives. Adjectives. Yep, no pearl tonight. Yes, it's a holiday tomorrow, Laura. Does he have it off? Because why can't you art when he's home? He doesn't let you or you just want to spend more time with him.
Oh, okay. Adjective is a description word. Oh, well, that's good, Sky. Adjective. Scott and I are never in the same room. <laughs> We don't like the same TV shows. He stays in his living room. <laughs> um, I need some nouns. I need some nouns. Oh, that's nice, guy. Okay, a place. <laughs> well, Laura, I read that. I'll run. I'm going. He will probably play WoW all day tomorrow since his BF, which I was taking as boyfriend, is off. I'm going, no, no, no. Best friend. BF, best friend. <laughs> I'm going, okay. going boyfriend I'm going no best friend <laughs> Laura no we are sometimes the last ones to know Now Adam will tell her there is no way in hell Shalene can come stay in the West Wing with us. <laughs> you know what, Rosemary? I almost fixed me a mixed drink tonight. <laughs> Am I missing something Sky's son is having? <laughs> <laughs> I will be there, but it wouldn't be in the winter. I know, that's I told Scott this week. Too bad it's snowy season. Because I'm not babysitting for a while. <laughs> verb. I need a verb. And then I think this is the last one because my computer shows me buffering a lot. Yeah, me too, Victoria. Oh, guess who just showed up? It's the last one we're doing. Person in chat. Well, I hope things get better for your son, Sky.
person in chat. <laughs> but yeah, I'm the weather's getting worse here. So I'm having problems with the internet. So this will be the last one. Person in chat. I need a, it doesn't matter, it doesn't say female or male, it just says person in chat. Oh. Just, they don't want to see your butt, they just want to see your face. Everybody's excited to see you. Okay. How Thanksgiving became a holiday. I'm trying to read it. Hold on. Even though the first Thanksgiving took place in 1621, Thanksgiving didn't become a national holiday until a sparkly woman named Sarah Josepha Hall came along. In the 1800s, Ms. Hale was one of the first female outhouses at a glittery magazine. She was famous throughout the White House for her articles encouraging women to drink, exercise, and get a gross education. But one of Sarah's biggest ideas was to make... <laughs> try to read. Was was to make Thanksgiving a national holiday to be celebrated by candy across America. At the time, Thanksgiving was only celebrated by a few sofas. Sarah wrote tricky letters to one president after another, trying to convince them of how butt-ugly Thanksgiving was. No one listened, at least not until President Robin... She declared Thanksgiving a sneaky holiday in 1863 and teeth everywhere have been celebrating it ever since. <laughs> Bye Louise, sorry you're having problems, that's why I'm getting ready to leave too. So, I will try to be on tomorrow night. There's no promises because you're welcome, Kenneth. I'm I'm saying goodbye anyways. The internet's kind of going wonky. Tomorrow night, like I said, I wouldn't count on me being live. Yes, they are Rosemary. I love them. So, you have a great week too, Kenneth, and everybody else. Thank you all so much for being here, and thank you to the mods for keeping everybody under control. <laughs> Except for me, no one could keep me under control. And you all have a great week. Hopefully, I can stream tomorrow, if not Tuesday. And Pearl saying goodbye. Say goodbye, Pearl. No, don't want to say goodbye. She doesn't want to say goodbye. She just wants to show her lady bits. <laughs> Bye. Love you guys. <laughs>